Hello and welcome to The Sherlock Show. I'm Charlotte Collins and we have a fab show lined up for today, from fashion to beauty to interiors, to all the laughs in the form of Vogue Williams. It's a goodie. First up, the very cool Yatri Pavari is showing us her week in outfits. If you love a monochrome look, it's all the inspo you need. Then see what happened when I sat down to talk through the ultimate range of moisturizers from Estee Lauder with an expert. From dryness to anti-aging, there's a little something for everyone in the collection. Interior designer Sophie Patterson is back to show us how to style a coffee table, and Lou and I take a look at a shop we love and have a bit of a try on. Plus, Sherlock's favorite Vogue Williams is on the sofa for a catch up. We're going to be talking all things podcasts, working with her husband, and also her amazing tanning products, which hand on heart are incredible. I love them. So first up, it's fashion with Yatri, followed by interior styling tips with Sophie. What's not to love?
Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be sharing my tips for styling a coffee table. So if we start in the middle of the table, I always like to put um, a floral arrangement in the middle which is going to be your focal point. This is a really beautiful wild arrangement of fresh flowers and I just feel like it adds a really nice natural element and it's also adding some height to the table which is quite important. When I'm designing a coffee table arrangement I like to divide it, especially on a rectangular table like this, into four. Um, so with my signing I'm going to put an object on each corner of the table. This table for those of you who are interested is by Pause for Romana and it's their Giacometti design. Quite often I'll use coffee table books almost like a tray. This is a little decorative box and I always have a box for storing your remote controls. They just look ugly and messy so it's great if you can put them in a box. And by putting it on top of the book it elevates it and makes it look more proportionate to the space. I'm going to get another book um, for this corner and I'm going to put it in a different direction so it's not all lining up. This one's by Erin Lauder, it's Beauty at Home, one of my favourites. Gorgeous cover and gorgeous images inside. I'm going to use this um, chinoiserie part that I got from eBay, really great find, beautiful. Not sure if it's like worth much but I just like the way it looks and it picks up the colours um, from the Erin Lauder book. The third object I'm going to put down is a tray. I absolutely love using trays. This is a vintage one that I found in Paris. It's got a beautiful sculptural form. It works so well with the metal frame of the coffee table and some coasters as well, just to keep it practical. One of the items I like using my coffee table that people think is quite weird is a tissue box. I don't know why people think it's weird. I find them really handy. Um, especially because we've got young kids, so it's just quite easy to just grab a tissue and do a quick clean up if there's any accidents. Um, and this tissue box is gorgeous, it's by Anna New York, and um, it's got a lovely stone material. I like changing up my coffee table quite a lot. I feel like if you mix up the objects and you style it differently every month, then you notice and appreciate everything on it a lot more. Um, so right now, because it's spring, I've got this gorgeous um, egg that my mother-in-law bought me. Um, which I'm just going to put on the tray. It's just mixing up the different forms on there. And then the last item, another book, um, but another way I like to display books on my coffee table is by having just one open book. You get to appreciate all the beautiful photographs inside. This one's Andrew Martin Interior Design Review, which is my favourite interior design book. We are featured in a, um, a couple of the books, which is like such an honour. They call it the Oscars of the interior design world, so. We were super excited about that. And um, generally I just pick a page that kind of works with all the other objects. I quite, quite like this black and white page. So that's my top tips for styling your coffee table and I hope it's been helpful. Thank you so much, Yatri and Sophie. What a great start to the show. Next up, earlier this week, I had the pleasure of sitting down with Emma Tillman, one of Estee Lauder's pro makeup artists, to chat all about the brand's moisturising range. From hydration to glow to brightening to detoxing to youth giving, the iconic brand really does have all bases covered. From dull skin to ageing concerns, a few brands have you covered, like Estee Lauder, and their range of moisturisers really is the Cadillac of skincare. I am thrilled today to be joined by pro makeup artist Emma Tillman, who has years of experience when it comes to skincare and understanding what it is exactly that your skin needs. And she's here today to talk us through this incredible moisturising range. So welcome, Emma, first of all. So lovely to have you. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. I mean, there's just something about Estee Lauder on a table. I mean, it's so glossy. It's so glamorous, isn't it, this collection? It looks so pretty, don't so they? So pretty. <laughs> um, so everybody knows that they really are, I mean, one of the best when it comes to great skincare. What is but it about these moisturisers that is so hardworking? I think it's great because they've all got all got their own different active ingredients. Mm -hmm. So there is something for everybody. Doesn't matter what your age is, what your concern is, what your skin type is. There's a little something in there for everybody, okay. which and, is great. And it's really targeted, right? Like, it really is. It's, it's for like yeah. exactly what that skincare is. Exactly, okay. exactly. We all need that. Um, so let's start with this first one here. Uh, this is the Daywear Multi Protection Antioxidant 24 Hour moisture cream. Its nickname is the Hydrator. The Hydrator, okay. yeah. Probably one of our longest standing moisturisers mm -hmm. as well. So one of our best sellers that we have done for years and yep. years and years. Um, one of the things people absolutely love about this, really kind of rich, creamy texture. Mm -hmm. 
What's nice is it's that kind of whipped cream, mm. so it doesn't feel too heavy on the yep. skin. But yeah, it's super kind of nourishing and hydrating. And is it for people with particularly dry skin? So we do this one in a couple of different skin types. Mm -hmm. So this one, as you can see, is a little bit lighter, and that's okay. for that more kind of normal combination skin. Right. And then there is a dry skin version as well, which will be a little bit richer, a bit more hydrating. Okay, so within the ranges, there are then individual ranges There is. As well. So most okay. of them have sort of two or three different skin types in each range. Got it. Okay. So if you've got certain concerns, you can then pick your skin type as okay. well. Okay, It's an everyday moisturiser? Everyday moisturiser. It's packed full of antioxidants. Mm -hmm. You've got things like hyaluronic acid in there, yep. so super hydrating. And you've got your SPF 15 which is good, so you've that. got your everyday okay. sun, sun protection okay. in there as well. So that really is an all-rounder, covers you for absolutely everything. It is, Can't go yes, wrong. exactly. Okay. exactly. I think that might be the one for me. <laughs> um, let's move on and talk about, God, I, I just feel like I have to say all these amazing titles. It's the Nutritious <laughs> Super Pomegranate Radiant Energy Moisture Cream. This is known as the Detoxer. The Detoxer, absolutely. This is a really good one, again, if your skin is a little bit on the drier side. Mm -hmm. So this is probably the only one we do that doesn't come in different skin types. Okay. So this is better for that kind of normal or drier sure. skin but it's all about kind of all day hydration. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be really nourishing. Okay, and what is the difference then between number one and number two? So if you're feeling that you just really want something to kind of hydrate and protect the skin mm -hmm. against the environment, then you're gonna to, to wanna to go for the day wear. Mm -hmm. If you want something that's gonna hydrate and really detox the skin, then you're gonna go more towards nutritious. Okay, and is that just for daytime or could you use it for nighttime as well? So this one is for daytime. Mm -hmm. You could absolutely use it at nighttime as well, or there is a richer, more hydrating version nice. in the nighttime range as nice. well. Okay. So you could go for something a little bit richer. And with all of these, I mean, how absorbent are they? Can you put your makeup on pretty quickly after? Yeah, one? absolutely. A little goes a really long way. Okay. So with all of them, you literally need about a pea size amount. Um, let's talk about the third one. This is the Resilience Multi Effect Tri Peptide Face and neck cream. Um, can you talk to me about peptides? For those who don't exactly, like me, understand what they are, what do they do? So it's all about kind of the, you know, the elasticity in the skin. Mm -hmm. So this is one of those ones that is great for people that are experiencing maybe a little bit of loss of firmness. Okay. If your skin isn't quite as plump and as bouncy as it used to mm -hmm. be. The peptides are really going to help to kind of improve that elasticity okay. and improve that firmness. In so the skin. is that sort of an anti-aging thing? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So it's not so much for you know when you want prevention. It's more for when the skin has already started to lose okay. its elasticity. Got you. To keep that plump and that bounce in the skin again. Fine. Um, this, so it is known as the youth infuser. There we go. That, there that you explains go. Yeah. it. <laughs> um, what are the other benefits of this one? It's also got an SPF. Also got an SPF. The texture of this one oh, is that looks gorgeous. So, so nice. super creamy. It's a lot so richer. Creamy. This one. And you see, can you see that really nice oh, glow? Oh, lovely, yeah. So if you feel that your skin needs maybe, you know, some brightness yes. or it's feeling a little bit dull, a bit yeah. dehydrated, that's a really nice one for kind of boosting okay. the radiance of the skin as well. Okay. And is like, this might be a silly question, but is is there ever, are you ever too young to start using that? I mean, could, I'm 30, could I start using that now? I mean, I wouldn't say you'd need that now. Sure. I mean, only if you feel that your skin is losing its elasticity, but it which could be you. very unusual at your age. It could, give, it could <laughs> plump you up and give you that. It will definitely okay. plump the skin up, definitely. Good yeah. to know. Yeah. All right, mm. number four. The Revitalizing Supreme and Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Cream. This is the glow giver. Okay. Yes. We're, we're obsessed with getting a good glow here. The word glow, yes. yes. <laughs> Talk to me about I think that it. that sells it straight away, exactly. doesn't it? I mean, this is my personal favourite. Okay. I love this one. The texture of this is just gorgeous. So it's almost like, like a balm. Mm -hmm. Can you see? So yep. rather than that kind of creamy texture like before, yep. it's that slightly more balm-like texture. Okay. So it absorbs into the skin really easily. So lighter for people who don't want something heavy as a well. A little bit lighter, but mm -hmm. still, still super hydrating. Okay. It's still going to feel really nourishing on the skin. Um, what's great about this one is it contains something called Moringa extract. So I don't know if you've heard of I before. I'm a bit of a novice, go on, tell me. <laughs> All about kind of anti-aging. Right. So this is great when you're you know, starting to notice those little fine lines creeping in, mm -hmm. if you've got the odd wrinkle that you're concerned with. Right. Or again, if you're starting to lose the firmness of the skin a little bit, okay. it's going to really have that powerful anti-aging ingredients in those So ones. a bit more preventative, this one? More for prevention. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Sounds good. So perfect for those kind of like, you know, first, first signs of aging, sure. starting to notice those first lines and wrinkles on the skin. Yep. <laughs> um, and presumably because it's a balm, maybe in summer, not everybody wants to wear a rich cream. That's a good one to go for. Definitely. Okay. And that, that one does come in like a light oil free version as well. Oh, lovely. So even if you're, you know, concerned with aging, okay. you're a bit more oily, yes. there's another skin type in that okay, one. Okay, so really it's Something for every type Something of skin. Something for everybody, okay, yeah, absolutely. Um, and then finally, <laughs> this one, the Revitalizing Supreme and Bright Power Soft Cream. This is the brightener. Sorry, also yes. almost as important as glow, actually. Definitely. No one wants to be dull. Who doesn't want brighter skin? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is actually the newest one in our range as well. So this is this okay. is quite a new launch for us. This one also contains some really powerful um, sort of products to help with dark spots and pigmentation. Got you. So things like vitamin C, it contains something called Beauty Berry. Okay. Which is all about helping with uneven skin tone. 
Okay, great. So if you get any pigmentation, dark spots, discoloration, post acne scarring, things like that. Okay, good to know. Great for giving that kind of overall even appearance to the skin. Okay. And giving that brightness and that radiance again. Well, I think we all need that a bit, don't we? Sounds great, Especially isn't it? Especially we've had. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's got more dark spots than ever before. That's it. Okay, that sounds amazing. But with your, with your anti-aging in there as well, which is great. Dream. All in one. If you're just going to pick one of the moisturisers, obviously you should tailor it to what your skin needs. But if there Definitely. was just kind of one all round, not everybody's sure on what their skin's doing exactly. So what is the kind of one to go for if you're just not quite sure? I mean, something like day wear is always a great one. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter what your age is or anything like that for day wear. Okay. It's a really great all round protection mm -hmm. hydration moisturiser. Okay. We should give a shout out to the quiz that you can yes. do online. This is so clever. So Essay Lauder have created a quiz if you are one of those people who doesn't know what their mm -hmm. skin type is and, you yeah. know, and is looking for exactly the right moisturiser to use, you can go online and do it, can't you? It's you brilliant. You can. So you literally just head to the website, you'll see it on the skincare bar. You yeah. literally just go on, you pop in your skin type, it'll ask you different questions about your concerns and things like yeah. that. And then it will recommend a whole routine for you. Genius. So it keeps it super simple. Okay. I mean, the modern world is fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> um, Emma, thank you so much. Um, I was already a Lord of fan and I feel even more convinced now. So. Thank you so much. And um, to find pleasure. out more about the range and to do the quiz, of course, um, head to estatelauder.co.uk. That's it from us, and we'll see you again soon.
Welcome back. Thank you, Emma. That was so fab. I have actually been using the day wear cream ever since, and I have to say, I am loving it. Uh, now, I'm joined by one of Sherlock's firm favourites, Vogue Williams, who currently has half of the Sherlock's office dying with laughter about her new fabulous podcast, and the other half raving about her tanning range. So, all in all, quite popular. Uh, so, we thought it was time for a catch up. What could be better? It's actually true. There's all of those words are true. Everyone in the office is obsessed with your podcast right now. I'm so glad. It's so, it's so fun to get to do that with my best mate. I mean, um, what a dream. We just have such a laugh yeah. all the time because like we go in, obviously there's a lot of setup for a podcast. Like you do have to go in with your topics and everything like that. But the whole point is you have something to kind of anchor you. Yeah. But Joanne and I go so far off topic that our producer's literally like, it's <laughs> pointless, to go topic. back. And I'm like, don't interrupt the goals. <laughs> and, uh, we should um, say that this is my therapist ghosted me. That's yes. the name of the podcast. Yes. Where does the name come from? Uh, well, Joanne's therapist actually did go. Oh, this her. happened? Yeah, this okay. actually happened because we know he goes to her because when she tried to contact him again and again, then she thought maybe he's dead. <laughs> and so she rang him on private number and he answered. Oh, wow. Okay, so that happened. <gasps> Have I actually been ghosted yeah, by your therapist? Yeah, that's awful. Like, you're really in bits. But, like, I feel like she's got a lot of chat. Like... That, yeah, I'd say, there's a lot to discuss. I'd say Juan like just sent him over the edge a yeah, little bit. He was like, do you know what? Maybe I'll push her on to someone else or just stop answering her calls. I mean, you literally talk about everything. You go to places that most people won't go to. I, George the other day was like, why can't we be more candid on our podcast like Vogue is? I don't understand. Um, I mean, you go there, don't you? We kind of do, yeah. Svenny actually asked me today, we were, we were on our own podcast and he asked me, he was like, I heard you were talking about... Uh, my manhood on your podcast. And I'm like, you're not meant to listen to our podcast. Don't start earwigging on that. The whole premise business. of this was that he wouldn't know that you were talking about that. Yeah, because yeah. he has no interest in listening to either ours or mine with Joanne. So I did not expect him to hear it. We should say that you also have this podcast with your husband, Spencer. Yes. Where did that come from? Who thought that was a good idea? Um, I'd say more so I thought it was a good idea. Spencer likes to whinge about everything we do if it's not related to his company, Cleanco. Um, but again, it's a lovely hour to sit and chat and just have a laugh it's kind of yeah. like going on a date with them yeah. and just having complete silence and like just a laugh together you genuinely do have such good chat like on both of your podcasts the conversation just really flows which I find very admirable do you, like how much do you prepare or is that just you, you know just have a lot of chat. Um, well, you know what? I do everything for the Spen and Vogue podcast. I do it with a producer that we have. And I just, I like, just stuff sticks up in my mind all during the week that yeah. I find really interesting. And I always write stuff down. So it's kind of like a constant process. And then before it comes to our podcast, like three days before, I like to get all the topics together and kind of decide like that. But it's, it's mainly about having chemistry who you're doing a pod with. Yeah. So it's about going off topic and just getting one thing from something else. And uh, I think that's kind of presenting is that yeah. as well like you're not asking me you're not looking down and asking me question 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 I will in a moment you are yes. <laughs> yeah, I know but you're asking me questions from what I've answered so yeah. it's kind of like that with a pod Got you. and uh, I just think that like Joanne's one of my best mates uh, Spenny's my husband so it's yeah. kind of easy for us to do it does, that does itself doesn't yeah, it, it kind of does. um we've got to talk about the tan as yes. well but we've got loads of questions to ask for those who want to hear about fashion skincare fitness we're going to come on to that but let's talk okay. about the tan first yes. because I was just saying to you off camera I mean I I bang on about tan on Sherlock's all the time like I know tan Tan, yes. and your tan is incredible it is genuinely so so good yeah I love my tan the whole point of this tan range uh, bear by vote was I want by the way I'm not wearing it at the <laughs> yeah you're great at that for your I'm doing a tan along tonight so I've been furiously exfoliating every yeah. day so I can do a tan along um, on insta tonight um but I usually this is probably one of the few days of the year you'll ever catch me without tan because I don't even tan in the sun anymore I mm. actually feel annoyed if I get tanned by the sun okay. I just think it's so bad for your skin so one, you don't need to. I know, yeah. I don't. And I take ultra dark away with me whenever I go. Mm -hmm. But I think that the whole point of this was like, I want you to look like you've been in a sun holiday mm -hmm. for two weeks and you just have that nice fresh glow about yourself. It has to be easy to use, has to have really good ingredients. I want it to be vegan. I want it to be cruelty free. Mm -hmm. I want it to be super moisturizing. I don't want you to stink after you put it on. Yeah, can I tell you, that is, that is the best thing about it. Yeah. This sounds like an advert, it's not. I just love it so much <laughs> because it gen genuinely doesn't smell and it doesn't no. stain your clothes. No, it it's incredible. And it doesn't uh, get in your sheets. So like tonight I'm doing a tan along and literally 15 minutes yes. after I do that, I have to go out and have dinner. So I'll just pop on a dress yeah. and 
because it's such a nice guide color as well that you can go out and just let it um, yes. develop as you're out. Like this is true. Yes, <laughs> it is. It's so true. So there are, there are multiple different colors in yes. the range, aren't there? You've got medium, dark, ultra dark. Yeah. And then with the face mist, you have got light, medium and dark. Yeah. Face mist is our newest product. Um, and basically because I've got such a gray face, like when I don't have makeup on, people are like, yeah. are, are you, you okay? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, so this is more so like, if you don't feel like wearing makeup, you literally put a bit of moisturizer on and just literally spray your face. Yeah. And four or five hours later, you'll look like a glowy, dewy goddess. Dream. Um, then I have the instant. This mm -hmm. is like QVC. <laughs> Like the easy. instant is like this is for if you forget to put on your tan yeah. like sometimes if I'm wearing something up to there I'll literally Always. just tan yeah, yeah. to there I often do just my hands in this yeah, bit as well yeah exactly but as well this is uh, it covers up a lot so if you yeah. have like any bruises or like little stretch marks and stuff like mm -hmm. that this is kind of like a makeup -y. Okay. Uh, and then you've got the lotion this is a medium lotion mm -hmm. very hard to get your hands on at the moment Becky well done well this is the question a lot of people say when is there going to be a restock we'll restock, restock is now now so it has been restocked yes there the medium it, okay. it's just uh it's kind of flown because uh, yeah. this is Amazing. not really high volume tan month. So um, yeah. I suppose we weren't expecting it. Exactly. But anyway, always a good thing. So we've got a lotion, which sometimes I use, but I really love the foam. I was going to say, I haven't used the lotion. It's all about the foam for me. I know, but you know what? I'm using lotion tonight because I used it there the other day and I was like, oh, I forgot. Like, which oh, I this love. is very good. Yeah, yeah. it's so moisturizing the lotion. Okay, if you're starting out with tan, do a mousse. It's easier yeah. to use and Agreed. you're never going to go wrong. And if you do go wrong, you have got the eraser. Genius. I wish I had this when I was 16. And does it work on the like, you know, the really bad, like I'll often sleep on my tanned face I so I'll know. get like an orange finger. I was like, does yeah. it really work on all those bits? Yeah, leave it on for 15 minutes, use the exfoliator glove yeah. and just scrub it off. We don't have a tan mint here. We do have a tan mint in the range, but again, uh, we, we couldn't get one and I didn't want to bring my old one. You're <laughs> like, this is my old skanky mint. Like, it's kind people of, know to buy a mint, They've fine. been sold out for a while, but they're back as well. That's um, amazing that it's been so successful. I mean, yeah. seriously. It, it really is like a, what colour do you use? I use dark in the winter, mm -hmm. ultra dark on holidays okay. or during the summer. So could I use ultra dark? Yeah, I reckon you could get away. Okay, it scared me a bit. Joanne mm. is obsessed with using ultra dark. If okay. she comes to my house, she steals my, and I, like, I'm like, your colour is not ultra dark. <laughs> it's quite pale. Two <laughs> yeah. of my friends do that. I'm like, please don't tell anyone you're wearing my tan because <laughs> yeah, like, it's too to dark. Okay, okay, so dark, dark if in doubt. Yeah, okay, always go for your colour okay. that you think you are. Medium if you're light, lighter skinned. Okay. Dark if you're more olivey and if you get really, really tanned, ultra dark. Okay, yeah. there you go, noted. Yeah. Um, we've got to get through some questions um, that our lovely audience sent in. We put a, a question box out on Instagram. A lot of people ask about fashion. What I should have said at the very beginning of this interview is that we're matching. We should have referenced yes, we that are. right from the get-go, shouldn't we? Where is we your are. shirt from? My shirt is an oldie from River Island. I did have my, I got that Frankie Shop jacket. Oh, yeah. And Spenny spent about half an hour this morning slagging me in it. Because it's oversized. Because he's yeah. like, do you know what you look? He started taking pictures of me. He's like, look look the way you look in this. I oh, love it. Charming. Yeah, where's yours from? Um, this is Arquette, this one. My mum bought nice. it and didn't want it, so I know I did quite nice. well. Nice. Your mum likes Arquette. Your mum's yeah, really trendy. Cool. Well, she doesn't because she gave it to me. Yeah, um, so, fashion tips, style tips is one question that people ask a lot. What are your top style tips? What do you wear every day? What do you wear when you don't know what to wear? Oof, I wear a lot of tracksuits. I wear a lot of gym gear. You do. If I'm just running around with the kids. Uh, if I don't know what to wear, this is kind of my I don't know what to wear outfit. And it's kind of cold today. I thought yes. it'd be warm, hence the grants and boots. Very cool. Um, I, I just love, like, easy, comfortable things to wear. My one style tip is... Just wear something that fits you, isn't like gonna be bothering you during the day. Like I used to wear really short dresses mm. and I'd constantly be like tugging them and just, I felt really uncomfortable mm. and it shows in yourself if yeah. you look really uncomfortable. So just wear things that like you think suit you and yeah. suit your body shape. What have you bought for summer? Summer, I mean <sighs> summer. Everything. You bought anything recently? Loads of stuff and it's just absolutely pointless. Yeah. So uh, what what have I bought? I've just done. I did a Zara haul the other day. I'm constantly spending too much money on the kids. <laughs> um, I love Yoke Girl. Have yes. you heard of that brand? Yes, they kept getting adverts for them on Instagram, did you? and then I ended up following them and falling really obsessed with their stuff. Such so a gorgeous, gorgeous yeah. brand. Yeah. So I wear a lot of their stuff. It just depends. I love High Street as well. I think H and M do really good drops, but you mm -hmm. have to be quick with them because mm -hmm. they have their studio. Um, Drop, which is always good. They just had the H&M Simone Rocha, which was great as yeah. well. River Island always have nice bits. Yeah. Arquette, as you said. So you're a high street gal? I, yeah, I'd say I'm mainly high street, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Love the odd bit of um, 
designer though as well. Can we all? Yeah. Um, we've got to talk about fitness because yes. that's a big part of your life. It's been a big part of your life in lockdown as well. Mm. What is your fitness routine generally for those who don't know who haven't been watching your lives? And what yeah. are you? How is that changing now? The world's opening up a little bit. I feel like everyone thinks I spend my entire life at the gym. Yeah. I don't. I do. Uh, I train four times a week. Mm -hmm. Um, and for about 45 minutes each time. Yeah. And it just depends. I love training. I trained with Dalton Wong for a few mm -hmm. years. Um, so I train with him all the time. I trained with him yesterday. He does lots of resistance bands. I do love running, but my God, running ruins your knees. Mm -hmm. So I've cut that right back. Uh, I train with my trainer, John Belton, who I do lives with. Mm -hmm. I used to train with him in Ireland, but obviously we can't. Ireland is still in a form of lockdown. So I've okay. promised to keep the lives going until Got you. lockdown's okay. over. Yeah, oh, Weight nice. training as well as yeah. a new thing. So Sarah, a girl from Roar Fitness, uh, she's the best bum. Okay. you'd ever see and like I'm obsessed with trying to get her bum. <laughs> yeah, I want that. Yeah, I'm like, that's why, <laughs> no, I, we're going that's why I'm here and she's like, stop okay. coming in eating cheese toast, he said. I'm like, okay. And do you do it all from home? I No, I did, obviously, with mm. lockdown. I think everyone figured out that you can do a lot from yeah. home and I thought that was amazing for people that would be more nervous of going to the gym yeah. because like it can be a daunting place yeah. especially if you're just starting with exercise and I think being able to do it from home was really really great for some people and it gave them confidence and hopefully we'll see more people head to gyms and just because it's yeah. so good for your body but like your mind yes. people don't realize it's so good yeah. just get out and do exercise every day when I'm not in the gym I'll always be taking Winston and the kids for a walk yeah. I actually took Theodore swimming the other day and I wear this like watch it's it's a whoop it's not like mm -mm. it's like a Fitbit kind yeah, of thing. yeah. And I got way more from taking him swimming than I did from my run in the morning. Yeah, swimming is like full body. So With a kid. Yeah, a lot. Take your kids, scoot to swimming and Thanks. scoot back and you'll do more than, than you, you do go. running. That's what people say, running after children. It's yeah. a form of exercise. Um, you, if people have seen your lives, they'll know that you have, as you said, an amazing collection of gym wear. Yes. Where are your favourites from? You love a matching set. I do a good matching love set, a matching then? set. I love Varley. Mm. I think that they do really, really good set. Uh, <coughs> P Nation is great if yeah. you want to wear something and then go out because yeah. it's so cool. Um, H&M do good gym gear. Do you know what? I did a job for Tesco and they had gym gear. I mean, that's an unexpected answer. I know, but okay. it's my favourite sports bra. I, think I have two of them. Uh, and it's just such a good, that's like nice fitting sports bra. Yeah, And there's a few Irish brands I wear a lot. Uh, Leo Yoga is really good. Mm -hmm. I just love like a bright coloured matching set. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of Ireland, a few people said, somebody said, how is it being Irish and living in the UK? I'm, I'm, I'm Irish and miss home so much. How, when was the last time you were home? Last time I was home was February of last year mm -hmm. or January. So long how time. How are you finding it? Really difficult because I used to go home all the time, but mm. I have booked to go home. You see, there were so many times I was meant to go home. I was meant to go home in the summer, but I had Gigi, then I was pregnant, yeah. I couldn't fly, and all the rules kept changing. Then I nearly got home. It was the day before, and all bags packed, mm. shopping like had been ordered, yeah. oh. going to my house, and, uh, and the day before, rules changed at Christmas yeah. time and it was only people who were going for work purposes so I couldn't yes 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 okay yeah, got it really but hopefully soon I'd say in the next two weeks all being well oh, I don't even soon. want to get excited because no. I'm like I don't know what's going to happen yeah, but so. yes two weeks time um, and have you been enjoying the, the coming out of lockdown here have you been to restaurants what have you got planned over the coming weeks oh, and months I love that the restaurants are back I love that the gyms are back I love that the restaurants are back because mm. Gigi wasn't eating when all the restaurants closed so like now yeah. she started like properly being weaned and like we get to take her out to restaurants <laughs> yeah. which is an absolute nightmare but I think it's really <laughs> really good for her yes. to be in that environment um, and yeah I've been going to loads of restaurants our favourite is Petite Maison probably which we've been to a few times nice. And then Spenny's like, will we go there on Saturday? I'm like, no, we've gone too much. We need, <laughs> like, we're done. We need to venture somewhere else. Uh, so no, we've been doing loads of that and yeah. loads of meals out with friends. Nice. It's yeah. just so nice to feel a little bit normal again, I isn't know. it? Um, somebody else has asked, can you see yourself living outside of London? I heard a bit of Jersey chat on your Spencer Jersey podcast. Jersey chat is relentless. <laughs> it's relentless. Really? Will it happen? You know what, though? Do you know what's really funny about Jersey? I'm like... You always slag off Ireland. He's only joking. I yeah, know he yeah. is. But Jersey is exactly like <laughs> the same where thing. I live at yeah. home. Um, the thing about Jersey is it's, it's an easier commute. I don't think, I think after lockdown, loads of people want to move outside yeah. of London. I don't think that, I'd say we'll keep our place in London, mm -hmm. but I can't imagine we'll bring our kids up there. I think yeah. I need space for yeah. them. I think that they need to be able to just like go outside and be kids and not always have to walk to a park and just like have like big open spaces. Yeah. 
beside the sea. I'd love to be beside yeah. the sea. I think a lot of people, as you say, feel like, like that Cornwall though. would be amazing, yeah. but it's four hours. It's Very too far. far. I know. I went yeah. to Devon last weekend. Yeah, not not close. No, no. It's, I'm like, no, one will come and visit you. So somewhere that <laughs> is easy enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah, got you. Possibly Jersey. Noted. Um, yeah. So we talked about fashion, fitness. We've got to talk about skincare before we finish because, yes. again, everybody was saying, you've got such glowing skin, such amazing skin. I know you claim it's great, but we'll put that aside. <laughs> yes. what, do, what is your skincare routine? What do you do to look after your skin? I'm really, really good at my skincare routine. I, uh, I go, I, so I have a batch of products and I'll always have, uh, what's it called? A serum. Mm -hmm. Then I'll have a moisturizer. I have a different moisturizer for a night, SPF during the day. And then I literally just use it, cleanser, and then I finish that batch mm -hmm. and I go on to another one. There's loads of great skincare. I love um, Kate Somerville's great. Um, Medicaid's really good. I always love Estee Lauder, the Advanced Night Repair. Mm -hmm. Have to have that. Yeah, people swear by that product. It's so it? good. Yeah. It's such a good product. There's so many great skin brands out there. Though. There's a, I ha I'm on to this new thing. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. A Duo Lab. No, so it's me. like L'Occitane own it okay and you get it's like this machine and you get like two different things you put them in the machine together they mm. smash together it mixes the whole thing up and it's really warm and then you put it on your skin and just there's loads of different like what is it like a you, mask no it's like it's like your serum and your moisturizer okay. all in one but there's loads of if you have really dry skin one day there's loads of different things to use amazing from. it's really clever yeah. so I've been using that um love a good facial Okay, where'd you go? Uh, Debbie Thomas. Okay, oh, yeah, we love Debbie. Oh, oh, I know. Yes, Debbie, we the, love Debbie, she's amazing, yeah. The lovely, and the lovely mm -hmm. Sarah, who's in with her, the lovely clinic? Yes, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so okay. Sarah's great. She does this, like, skin tightening thing, uh, and it's not painful or anything, but yeah. you really notice the difference. Okay. Any kind of facial therapy. I went for mesotherapy in this place called Therapy, which is really, really good. Any facial you can, I'll be there. You'll I'll do it. it. Okay. Yeah. Noted. I don't care how painful it is. Oh, really? You'll, if it makes you'll me look in. younger, I'm in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> um, what about makeup? Quickly, what are your favourites? If, if you couldn't live without three beauty products, what would they be? Ooh, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Mm -hmm. Then I will say the Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear. Mm -hmm. Because you can build that. Yeah. Um, and then a really good concealer. Hmm, there's a girl called uh, Amy Connolly. Yes. Sculpted, she's an Irish girl. Okay. And she does the best under eye concealer. Okay, yeah. there you go, top yeah. tips. So thank you so much. I mean, literally, we're thank gonna you. go away and talk a lot about tan now yes. because I've got so many more questions, but it was lovely to see you, to catch up. Thank you. Um, and if you wanna know how to use the tan, then on your Instagram tonight. In Insta tonight, Thursday. Right. There you go, all right. Uh, well, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, thank you so much to all of our wonderful guests, Vogue, of course. Um, Emma, Yatri and Sophie and thanks to Lou for coming shopping with me as well. On the next show, Georgie will be back with another great lineup. Co-founder of holiday destination platform Beach Flamingo, Lily Russo Barr is showing us her five favourite summer looks just in time for the heat wave, maybe, we hope. <laughs> Top cosmetic doctors Dr. Bibi Galay and Dr. Wasim Taktuk are chatting all things tweakments. Fashion florist of the moment Fiona Fleur is showing us how to style three amazing dried floral decorations. Plus, Lou and I are back with a very special haul from Netta Porter. You won't want to miss it. In the meantime, we would love if you could please comment below, give us a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye-bye.